day everyone welcome to another episode of agri guru lessons so for today's episode i'm going to discuss again module number three interpret plants and drawings sprinkler irrigation system so what is this sprinkler irrigation system so the sprinkler system is ideal in areas where water is scarce so kapag wala tayo mismo mapagkukuha na ng tubig so pwede tayong gumamit ng sprinkler irrigation system so a sprinkler system conveys water through pipes and applies it with a minimum amount of losses kung baga parang ang style ng pagdidilig nito ay yung wisik-wisik so kung nakakita na tayo mismo sa garden natin napakalawak yung umiikot-ikot yun po yung tinatawag nating sprinkler irrigation although marami namang klase ng sprinkler irrigation depende na lang kung anong style yung i-apply natin water is applied in form of sprays sometimes simulating natural rainfall yun nga, kumbaga para ka lang nag-i-spray yung pino ng tubig na mapoproduce niya sa pagdidilig ng halaman mo ay parang ambon lang so hindi siya totally makakasira ng halaman or makakadestroy ng halaman kapag nagdidilig ay like kapag nagdilig tayo ng host ng barabara lang masisira yung ating halaman unlike sa sprinkler irrigation system mas maganda the difference is that this rainfall can be controlled in duration and intensity so pwede natin kontrolin yun sa irrigation system pwede natin palakasin or pahinain depende na lang sa so, anong gusto natin if well planned designed and operated it can be used in sloping land to reduce erosion where other systems are not possible so these are the types of sprinkler system so what is what are these type of sprinkler system o oh, ito muna yung picture ay yung example ng picture na ating sprinkler irrigation system so ini spray lang nila yung halaman para at least madiligan a fully portable system so when we say portable nadadala natin or na move natin from one place to another place so the, rat, the laterals, mains, submains, and the pumping plant are all portable. So the system is designate, designed to be moved from one field to another or other pumping sites that are in the same field. So that is what we call fully portable system. Next, semi-portable system, water source and pumping plant are fixed in locations. The system cannot be moved from field to to field or from farm to farm except when more than one fixed pumping plant is used so aside from water source and pumping plant that are fixed and then the others are not fixed then pwede natin siyang ma-considered as semi-portable system meron pa rin uh, part ng irrigation system na pwede natin i-move from one field to another field or from one farm to another farm but except for water source and at uh, our pumping plant and number three or letter C fully permanent system so when we say permanent so automatically we cannot move the irrigation system from from one field to another field or from one farm to another farm so the sprinkler may be permanently located or moved along the lateral it can be used on permanent irrigation fields and for rel relatively high value crops. So labor savings throughout the lifetime of the system may later offset high installation costs. So yung labor serving la labor labor savings okay siya. Nakakapag-save tayo mismo ng trabaho sa pagdidilig ng ating halaman. Pero pag nag-put up tayo ng mismo irrigation system, mas malaki yung magagasos natin. Dahil nga sa mga materials na gagamitin natin or even sa pagpapatubig na gagawin natin. So, kaya medyo magasos siya. Pero labor, savings naman po siya. Hindi ka na may hirapan sa pagdidilig kasi controlled ka lang in one place. And then, madidilig na lahat ng iyong mismong mga halaman. And that would be all for irrigation system. Thank you and 
God bless.